Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In the last episode, well, we took the train to nowhere, and uh, ironically, actually, we did end up somewhere, but uh, that's only after we took matters into our own hands, and we, of course, ended up in Mexico. Um, and that is an entire area that needs to be explored. Also, Thieves Landing has come under attack, and I've taken the liberty to get us over here by the scratching post, which uh, is where the next map uh, treasure item is. So, that's cool. I thought, why the devil not? So let's have a little look and see where the next one is. And see what we should get here. Probably just ammo. And to be honest, like, we haven't got anything so far that's been that useful. Which is kind of sad. And my phone is going crazy. So, now we have rank 3. Oh, okay. The game just saved. Wonderful. So, where is the next one? There. Ooh. We don't want that. Um, so, we're on... Treasure Hunter 4. Ammo, health item, dead eye item. Hmm. Okay. Ammo. What's that do? It's just, that's the trouble. Um, it just gives us ammo. Like, these quests all just give us ammo. Ammo is kind of a non-issue non at the moment. Alright, come here, Sparkles. And our next point of call will be... Ooh. Oh, so it's in Mexico, then. Hmm. So it's in a graveyard with a big statue of Jeebus on it. Okay. You can probably find that one without too much difficulty, in all fairness. Here, yeah, man. Come yeah, man, Mr. Horse, go down. Good horsey. Now, to Mexico. Because that sounds like a, a fun place to be. Uh, when we go to Mexico, actually, we kind of need to find some towns. Hopefully, we can actually liberate some towns this time. Now, I'm assuming things are going to be a little bit worse in Mexico. We're going to get nastier zombies, which is going to be nice, because we need nastier zombies. Because, um, we're going to have challenges to complete. And I hope, oh, how I hope, the challenges are now working again. Oh, talking of that, though, there's a spitter. What are called spitters, are they? They are... Uh, they are... Wretches. Okay. So, eight. We're still stuck on eight. Now. Blew your fucking head off, son. Now, please say that, that actually worked. Yes. Yes, it's worked. Okay. So, you do have to reset the game. When the game bugs out as well. Okay, that was one way of dealing with the problem. Oh, another wretcher. You beautiful son of a bitch. Yes, keep them coming. We need as many of those bastards as we can get our hands on. Hey, some dynamite. Not too shabby. Definitely can use some more of that. And... Oh, hello. Oh! You wretches are coming out of the woodwork now. And I am not complaining. Are you a retro as well, my friend? Are you here to spit large quantities of venom at my face? I don't mind. Truly, it's okay. Ooh. And the other good thing... Oh, God! And the other good thing, of course, is liberating more towns. Ooh, yes! Is there uh, more weapons, as I said in the previous one? We need more wretches. Any more for any more. Not you, love. Or you either, my dear. Oh, yes! Oh, that's a bruiser. 
We have a Beruza. Hello, chap. Don't need you. You're just a common. See, if I ever died... And... Oh, man. Look how many there are. Whoa. Okay. Why so many? Not that I am complaining in the slightest. However, I have a feeling they just killed themselves. Which is a bit of a shame. One's dead. You're dead. Ooh, God. There we go. We've got the rank. We've got shotgun ammo for that. Nice. Whew. Well, I think we brought some uh, order there. Now. Oh. Use a single explosion of a wretched to kill two other undead. <sighs> I've got a feeling that could go either way. I've got a feeling that could potentially be fairly easy. Oh, God. Where did all these guys come from? Let's, um... See what we could... Oh, God. We're running into a fucking thing there. Uh, fire bottle, undead bait. Right, undead. Can you go saddle up there, guys? I'll be your best friends. And admittedly, that's quite a lie. Now. Do we do it? I don't think we did. We need another wretcher. Yeah, potentially this one could be a bit of a challenge then. Unfortunately. Right, is there any more wretches around here? Yes, there is. Oh, God. This is going to get worse before it gets better. In fact, this could be rather fatal. Come on, throw that stuff. There we go. Okay, I think we threw it. Yes, we did. Okay. Um... Come on, guys. Come on. Undead bait. Go stand around this gentleman. Oh, nice. Okay. Potentially. Come on, baby. Come on. Right. Is that it? Right, we really need to get rid of these dogs. Because these... Dogs are the biggest... Oh, man, there's so many. That's fine. Alright, we need more. We need more wretches. Bloody dogs! Come on. Shit. Oh god. Oh god. This is getting a little bit... A little bit uncomfortable, to say the least. I'm not sure. Oh shit. Shit. Actually, that works. Kind of. It would have if we had any dead eye left. Okay, this is fine. Everything is fine. The world is burning, but it's all fine. Undead bait, that's what we want. Oh, God. Okay, go stand over there by him. Really? Really? Well, in that case, have some fire. See if that's... Three on fire. We've got three on fire. Three's not enough. Perhaps we need a better location. Oh, he died. Yeah, let's go somewhere without the dogs, because the dogs are annoying. Come on, horse. Let's go. Let's ride! You're not really listening to me, are you, horse? Which, you know, is barely par for the course. Now, I don't know. If we leave... Um, Places under siege for a long time. I don't know if they eventually get destroyed. I did read something about that. Um, but I'm not entirely sure how accurate that claim was. So that's an issue. I'm kind of hoping not because there's an achievement. Oh shit on a shovel. Okay, that was not good. I'm going to have to be very careful when crossing the border. Um, come on. Uh, sparkles! Wait, you do this. 
You know what? Fuck you, Sparkles. There we go. Don't know why I had to push Y about 17 billion times there for John to get off, but uh, we're not going to question it. I mean, we are going to question it, but we're going to put it down to broken game design. Kind of funny, actually. Um, thinking back to this game, um, I had no idea it had so many massive flaws, which is kind of interesting. It, it kind of, in a way, comes back to... Um, oh, you fuck. Comes back to the old uh, thing. Sometimes certain games are, are better off left in your memory. This isn't one of those. This is still a very good game. But uh, there are certain games I've played over the years. Uh, return to them. You know. Because I have lost every ounce of faith in, in modern gaming. Um, I mean, my PlayStation... I've got PlayStation Pro, and the for the first few months that I had it, all I used it for was PlayStation 2 games. And then, obviously, um, Shadow of the Colossus, which, well, hmm, that's actually technically a PlayStation 2 game. Um, and South Park, which is a classic, but, you know, most of the LPs that I'm probably going to be doing are going to be old games. I was really looking forward to uh, Sea of Thieves. And, uh, you know, that, that kind of turn out uh, how I thought it would be you know a massive open world um, with you know same as destiny a massive open well okay destiny wasn't massive but a big triple-a game uh, with no content but that's okay don't worry don't worry you know if you're freaking out about it they will sell you more content don't worry about that uh, these days the 50 pound buy-in case or whatever your local currency is that's just to get you started, you know, that, that's, that's just to buy the basic opening. Which is one thing that always makes me laugh when people say that games, uh, games have always stayed the same price. No, they haven't. You used, to pay, you used to pay 40 quid for a brand new game, 40 pounds. And that would be the entirety of the game, the complete experience. Now you pay 54.99. 54.99. For the entry, the base, um, the base game, and that's not including all the stuff that they're going to sell you afterwards. So when a game generally comes out these days, you know you, you understand the fact that this game isn't finished. This is just like this is, you know, when a game drops, you're generally only getting half of the experience. And let's not go into all the microtransaction bullshit. And uh, unfortunately, so many of the younger players these days, people that haven't grown up with gaming like I have, people that are, you know, in their early 20s now, or even their teens, they're, they're used to this as being the norm. Which is why we've, uh, we've lost, you know, so to speak. The only hope we really have left these days are smaller indie developers. And the huge library of, you know, our, our backlog of old games, which is where I spend most of my time. Now, of course, there are uh, exceptions to this rule. Evil Within 2 was a very awesome, complete package. That's just one example that comes to my mind. Um, you know... But as time goes on, with every every passing year, we get uh, fewer and fewer AAA games that are actually worth money, in my opinion. Right. Let's go. Let's go. The amount of people that say to me, uh, "Oh, have you got the new Call of Duty?" It's like, um. Is that, is that a serious question, or, or what? Of course I don't. Or have you got Battlefront 2? Again, is this a serious question? Of course I don't have Battlefront 2. <sighs> Triple A gaming. Anyway, enough about that. We've arrived at our destination. 
Oh, this place certainly looks like it's uh, seen better times. This town is under attack. Well, I can see that. Okay. There we go. And our meter is working, as advertised. Which is also wonderful. Okay, where is everybody? Come on, guys. Come one, come all. Now serving. Belly full of lead. You won't be disappointed. Heavy metal is the order of the day. Nice try, bozo. Hey, want some more? I have plenty. Oh, well, that was fun whilst it lasted, plan. Yep, we will kill you and rob you. Because that is what we do. Hmm. Oh, hello. We've got a quick runner. Boom, baby. Aha, here they come. Hordes of the undead. Oh, a wretcher. We can use him. Actually... I don't think we can. I Oh, that was a wretcher too. I don't think we're going to get the saturation of the undead that we need. We need large crowds of the undead. Ooh. Well, I can say one thing. Wretches are definitely more commonplace than they were. There seem to be more wretches than anything else. And I'm okay with this. They're quite fun enemies. Oh! Oh, man! Oh, yeah, we also need to do the fire challenge as well. Now, the biggest trouble, I think, with the fire challenge is just how inconsistent fireballs are. Sometimes you get, like, a massive, massive um, fire from them. And other times, it's like they don't even break. So, we're probably going to have to play around a little bit with that. Oh, did you fall over or did I actually shoot you? We may never know. Hey, Wretcher. Boom, baby. Oh, dear. You're falling. You're falling. And now you cannot get up. Well, I thought he was a Wretcher, but he didn't explode. So, there's that. This is a little bit awkward. Come on, come on, aim, aim. Okay, all that aiming and no action. Uh, bolt action, Winchester. Oh, God. Oh, well, I think we just swallowed most of our teeth. Well, that's okay. That's maybe what we want the explosive rifle for. Let's actually. Oh, God. Actually, that is somewhere around the saturation that we need. Thanks, buddy. May I have another? Can you get out of the way, horse? Ugh. Come on. Oh, that wretched didn't explode either. Hmm. Oh, no, that's because he's not dead. That would explain a thing or ten. Come on, zombies. C can we just amble this way, please? We're running out of bait. There we go. Whoa. What? Why? Let's just not ask questions. Are you going to explode? Hmm. Ah, oh, my horse is dead. You know, the horse actually deserved it. Because he's just getting in the way. Oh, looks like the heads are starting to disappear. That was quicker this time. One issue with the horse is he continuously runs around like uh, a spare prick at a spare ruler, a spare prick at an orgy. And also, has the game bugged? Yep, the game has bugged. Our meter is no longer going up and down. Oh my god. Okay. 
Okay. Well, can we still pay these guys off with ammo? Does that still work? You can't get back up here. How? Aha. Okay. If we could buy these guys off with ammo. Look, can you fuck off? Seriously. Um, my patience, I have to be honest, is starting to wear thin with these bugs. You right there, buddy? Can I pay you off with ammo? Assist. There you go. There's some ammo. Um, okay. Yes, so we can. We can, if all else fails, we can still buy them off of ammo. That is actually good to know. And in all fairness, you know, giving them some bullets isn't exactly a hardship. Okay. I do like the way they all feline to me. Trying to work out what the method is. Sometimes they explode. Sometimes they don't. I'm not sure the science behind that. Is it only certain wretches that explode, perhaps? Um, maybe would be the answer to that. Are you dead? Are you done? Have you finished? Do you have anything else to add to the conversation? There's still one more in there, apparently. I saw his arm come through the door. Oh, hello. Double action revolver. Uh. Okay. So. How does that actually stack up? Quite significantly, actually. Okay. Well, we will use the double action for a while. Because why not? And we need to save and exit. Really. Now, what kind of loot are we going to get in here? I'm kind... Oh, I was just about to say I'm kind of getting used to the way John contro controls a little bit. You know, people complain about how bad the controls were in the original Resident Evils, and I know, I get it, I do. But this, this is just so weird. All right, revolver ammo. Why do I get the feeling that all we're going to get is revolver ammo? I mean, it kind of makes sense because we've got the revolver. But we're running out of bottles, uh, stink bottles, zombie stink. Which isn't good, because we need our zombie stink. You shouldn't have tried to fight me, Ooh, yes. We might as well get some uh, undead ribs. Ah, wait. Maybe they're not exploding. I just had a, a headache with pictures, guys. Maybe they're not exploding. Because uh, it's part of the bug. Because even if only 50% of them exploded, we should have seen more go boom than we did. Cloud, I've told you about sitting on me whilst I'm gaming. Haven't I told you about sitting on me? Do you not listen? You never listen, do you, Cloud? Don't have cats, guys. Cats think they're so entitled. Are you entitled, cat, Cloud? Is that what I'm going to start calling you now? The entitled cat. Right, okay, so... At least we've saved this place. What? Oh, and our boots are on fire again. John, you got to stop wearing clothes that are so flammable, mate. You know? That's the trouble. Now we have somewhere that we can fast travel to in Mexico. Things are going to be a lot easier, I think. Well, not necessarily easier. Because uh, this game hasn't exactly been hard. But things are going to be a lot faster, a lot smoother. So, let's travel to a new just destination. We need... To, where is it we need to go? Is it Thieves Landing that's under attack? I think so. 
Yeah. I'm also... I don't know if I'm going to take over all of these towns on camera. I mean, I guess I might as well. Why like the fact all of these are zombies now? Ooh. Okay, that disappears. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think there was less towns in Mexico, if I remember correctly. Right, anyway, Thieves Landing. Now, can we... Ah, we can still travel to Thieves... Thieves? Thieves? Thieves Landing. Ah, shit. We need to exit, don't we? Yeah, we need to exit. Um, unless... Hmm... Okay, that shouldn't be a problem, actually, because we just go game, load. Yeah, so this should have potentially, this should have saved when we uh, liberated the last town. Which, if so, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has. Okay, now we can go straight to Thieves Landing. Um, travel destination. Come yeah, on. There we go. Thieves Landing. That always makes me think of Game of Thrones for some reason. What was that place called? Something Landing. I can't remember now. I actually never completed uh, Game of Thrones. Which is basically the same as everybody else in the world because they haven't released a whole lot. But I think I only made it to season f halfway through season five or halfway through season six, and I've rewatched it quite a few times. Um, but I just I don't know. I get bored of it, and uh, that's the same for many TV series. I lose interest. And it's something that I really hate about myself because Game of Thrones was pretty good. So I, I enjoyed it. Right. We could talk to the survivors. Or we could do this old school. Boom, baby. Yes, our meter is working. Although we have learned something in regards to the meter. And that is that the meter can glitch out when we're already in the town which is not great that woman looked like David Bowie that was impressive and that's not really an insult either because I love David Bowie not a huge fan of his music but the chap was pretty damn decent well keep him coming I've not seen any spitters yet, which is fine. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there we go. That'll work. Oh, you're a hairy gentleman, aren't you? Well, you're now a dead hairy gentleman. And that works for me. Keep those ribs coming. Oh, hello. Oh, God, that's my face. A beautiful face. You bastards. Well, let's go for Tomahawk Town. This is just the most efficient way of clearing out hordes of the undead. It's satisfying. And it works. More or less, anyway. When the aiming system works, which... Okay, maybe not that reliably. And we definitely don't get many um, wretches in New Austin, do you? They all seem to be coming from Mexico. Which leads me to believe that New Mexico might be where all the Zeds have come from. Hmm. Oh god, that's quite interesting. Interesting if true. Come on, buddy. Last one. 
Whoa, we, did we just die? I think we did. <sighs> if we go to... We start near town. Where's that going to put us? How do we die? We, did, we weren't that low on health. It's still infested. <sighs> well, we know what to do. We're just going to go tomahawk heavy from the off. Oh dear. Um, oh dear. That's fine. We're just going to run. We can run faster than zombies, right? I mean, probably not, but we can hope. We're not really equipped with any of our decent items like TNT or zombie stink. We definitely need to find some of that. I wish there was a shop in this game. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. Can you please stop shooting me? Thank you. I'm here to help you. Uh, at least I think I'm here to help you. You know. Your mileage may vary, because I'm going to certainly be looting your stuff afterwards. Yes, there we go. I mean, honestly, like, why would you use anything else? The Tomahawk is just amazing. It's even really good at crowd control, because you can just slice away. Uh, why did the bar not go up then? If you could aim at the woman, I would be quite graceful. And why have you put your tomahawk away? John! Uh. Can you get the tomahawk out? Thank you. There we go. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. He did that once before. The, the weapon actually um, got holstered. Actually, it's happened a few times now, I think about it. And he just won't get it out again. And it only seems to be with special items, like thrown items. It doesn't appear to be uh, an issue you get with guns. I got hit there by a couple of zombies, even though we were nowhere near the damn zombies, which is cool. Okay. There we go. There we are. We are slowly cutting them back. Uh oh. Yep, and we're dead again. God damn it. This is me being uh, overzealous. Right, I'm going to clear this down now. I'm going to empty this, uh, em empty this video. Yes, yes, I'm going to empty this video now. I'm going to end it. I'm going to clear this town out, save the game, and then I'm going to leave it at that for this recording session because uh, these bugs are starting to irritate me a little bit now. So Anyway, I'm still enjoying the game. I think the game is fantastic. It's not really the game's fault that... Uh, <laughs> How, wow, wow, have we got to that point where we're saying, it's not the game's fault that it's a broken mess. Hmm. It's a slippery slope, I suppose. Was well, the developer's fault that they broke the game. They never fixed it. Back when this game first came out, and when this first DLC came out, it was excellent. Unfortunately, we only have the tattered remains of uh, well, what's left, what they left us with, which... Uh, if anyone um, hasn't played this before, and they're coming into it now, it doesn't give a very good opinion or impression, I should say, of the Undead Universe, does it? If they are going to be doing another one for the second game. Which I hope they do. Now I'm rambling. Hmm. Anyway, till next time guys.